Tonight's talk is basically all about how to progress with your running group. Okay, so um, as most of you know, we have a progressive 10 week program. So the, the program starts reasonably easily in week one, and that's uh, on the 29th of January is when this next one will start. Um, and it progresses and gets harder, basically. So the, the duration that you're running at your speed goes up, and then all of a sudden the, the duration comes back around week six, and then the speed goes up. So the point is that if you can stick with your group for the full 10 weeks, that you'll get to running 45 minutes uh, in your group at your group speed plus half a kilometer. Okay, so it's a, it's a, it's a, big, it's a big improvement. Okay, and it sets you up to then going into the next program uh, in a new group. Okay, so if you were in a Couch to 5K group, it would then it would be effectively setting you up to go into a non-stop running group. Um, if you were in a say a 10 group, in the next program you'd be going into the 11 group. Okay, and um, in reality, that's it can't continue like that. Everyone has. Uh, their natural little plateau where they get to and they find it really hard to break into the new group. Um, sometimes it's illness that gets in the way. But tonight we really just want to explore how you can try and continue to keep up with the progress of your group and uh, what sort of things you can do, whether it's in the runs themselves or in training. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, the five-day challenge which starts next week okay so the week before every 10-week program we have a five-day challenge the real purpose of that is to find out what your current ability is and that helps decide what group you should be starting your 10-week program in so um, there's also an educational uh, content to that so if you have registered which hopefully you all will or have um, you'll get an email each day of the five-day challenge, um, either giving you a task to complete uh, or showing you a video um, of things you can do to basically improve your running. So once you've done the five-day challenge, or at least you've attended the, a run, um, which is basically aimed at getting you to find out your, your true current ability, uh, we then put you into a group. Um, now what group you go into has a, a massive influence as to whether you're going to be able to keep up with that group for obvious reasons um, and a lot of people will start conservative um, in a group that, you know, if they're coming for the first time they'll start in a conservative group and that's what we want and we prefer it that way rather than biting off more than you can chew and finding yourself really struggling to keep up with the group. Uh, we also have half groups now so if you find that you just can't quite keep up with uh, the group or maybe you you find it too easy with the group that you're in, but you're a bit worried about trying to step up into the next group, um, then we can set up groups in between. So a 7.5 group instead of a, a 7 or an 8 group. Okay, we've, These days we've typically got the numbers to do that. So if you've got your group right from the start of the program, then um, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to keep up with them at the start of the program.